So this is uh, part three of my uh, series of basic Comfy UI techniques and uh, the various ins and outs. Um, so this one is going to be about LoRa's, which are low rank adaptive something or others. I don't know what they are. You can look them up. Anyway, what they are essentially are a small refining model that alters the way the checkpoint works. So when the sampler over here is working, the LoRa puts its halfpenny's worth of information in, in between the steps. So what's called the attention layer, which I don't know what it is, and you don't, probably don't know what it is either. So you don't need to know that to use them. Uh, so you can download LoRa's from Civit AI and you need to put them in if we go to comfy ui the main comfy ui folder there's a folder called models and there's a folder called loras as you see i have quite a few of them i need a i need a good spring cleaner because most of them are not worth having really so anyway your loras go in there you download them from suit ai and they need to be for this um, video they need to be SDXL or XL they'll be called LoRa's the uh, 1.5 LoRa's which are just called LoRa's uh, won't work okay so assuming you've put some LoRa's in you've now got to uh, insert a LoRa into your workflow so what you do you right click you go to add node you go to loaders load LoRa and then the LoRa needs to be connected up. So the LoRa needs to be the first thing after the model. So the model, you see the model here, goes to model. The clip goes to clip. And then the model here, the model coming out of the LoRa, goes into the model on the sampler. And the clip goes to the two prompts. And that's it, your LoRa is plumbed in and ready to go. If only it was that simple. But we're nearly there. If you click on here, it will show you all the LoRa's you have. In my case, far too many. So we'll do uh, Eldritch Digital Art, which is a, a, a multi-purpose LoRa. It, it does a painting style I suppose and we need to put into the prompt what is called the trigger word of the LoRa and when you go to Civit AI you'll see the trigger word um, listed there and, and you need to copy that trigger word and that trigger word needs to be in here or the LoRa won't do anything. So we, uh, we were a tough punk girl last time so shall we be a shall we be a fairy tale girl, which is fine. Uh, so probably not wearing a black leather jacket. She's a fairy tale girl, so we shall put um, rich gown. We'll do the first time you uh, and she's in a magical wood, magical forest, do. And uh, I think it's a uh, a book illustration. And we need to put in our keyword for the LoRa. And the keyword for this LoRa is digital painting. And we're going to use this image here as a guide. And we're gonna, we're gonna be only as a very rough guide. So we'll put um, the denoise. If you saw the first video, you need to watch the first video. Um, we put the denoise at 75. So, it's 75% taking notice of the prompt and 25% taking notice of that image down there. And that's it. We're ready to go. I think we might take blue and red hair out. <laughs> For the most part, um, you don't need to put much in the negative prompt. Number two video was on prompting, so you could watch that as well and you'll learn something about prompting. So we'll prompt that. So here she is back, and she's in the wood, and uh, <laughs> book illustration has caused a book. 
<laughs> which is so you always have to watch your prompting what words you put in put in and the uh eldritch digital illustration is in very strongly uh at one so uh you, you never go above 1.5 and one is pretty high as well so what we need to do now is to see uh, what the image looks like without the LoRa so and you need to do this to test LoRa's to see exactly what they're doing so if you right click the LoRa right click you go down you see bypass and if you click on bypass your LoRa will go a, a lovely purple color and we'll run it again to show what the same image looks like without the LoRa so here's the same image without the LoRa. Again, we have a book. Now the LoRa is in was in too strong there, and I think we might remove the book. <laughs> so we'll call a fantasy illustration. So we'll reinstate the LoRa. When you go right click it, go back to bypass, and it's going again. And this time, because this image is rather nice, we just want to put an extra bit of gloss on it. So the, the LoRa was in too strongly, so we'll take the LoRa, or we'll take it down to half. You can play with this figure, and the clip needs to go down to the same. And we'll have a look. The seed is fixed here, so we're always getting the same image. And I think we'll lower the denoise a bit, so that um, we stick a bit more closely. We have to be a bit careful with this, because we have no background here, and our <laughs> forest will vanish unless we're careful okay so we'll prompt that so we've changed the prompt a bit we've got rid of the book we hope and we've made it a fantasy illustration and there she is back again not very cheerful does she but uh, you see what the laura does the uh, the laura has added a sort of misty fantasy to it whereas the previous one was a little uh, hard and uh, sharp edged so the Laura has softened it I think we might give her a smile I can't look at too many glum faces like that so the great thing with Laura's is you can add more than one of them so we'll add a Laura that's this is a Laura that's really good at, um, at backgrounds and um, giving a nice feel um, so we want to add a Laura now that is very good at doing people so if you click on the laura and so you've got the white line around it hold down option and drag it you'll get another laura now i i wire lauras up um in this particular way one above the other so the right hand side goes to the left hand side every time so the right hand side goes to the left hand side of the model the right hand side goes to the left hand side of the clip the right hand side again goes to the left hand side and the right hand side so there we go so you see that it goes in a sort of zigzag and then off to the model etc so we need to change our laura and we're going to use an illustrator who does very beautiful um, people so every image going in will have a person and we'll, we'll have that in at half as well. Uh, so we need to always remember with Laura to put the keyword in. So just look a bit closely at that. So there you see that is the keyword that triggers the Laura. Laura's, uh, a tr if you've used Automatic 1111, you have to put in uh, some more stuff in here. But this is comfy and you only need to put the trigger word in. There are some Laura's without a trigger word, in which case you don't need to put a trigger word in. But they're all triggered by some uh, reference to what they were trained on, usually. So we'll run that and see what the JC Leyendecker does. Thank goodness for that. A smile. <laughs> so you can see the effect the Laura's had. It's pretty dramatic, isn't it? And that's probably in a bit too strongly. I might use the negative here. I don't really want hands. So if I put hands in here, then we might get rid of them or we might not. 
there's no hands in here so by putting hands in the negative because there's no hands in here uh, so if you put head <laughs> in there it would definitely not get rid of the head you'd still have a head but as hands don't appear in this image there's a good chance that um, putting hands in the negative here or what they call the negative uh, will actually get rid of them so we'll also we'll come down on the strength of the uh, digital of the eldritch art we'll go down to 40 on that and you will find that uh, some lauras don't get on <laughs> but you'll only you'll only find that out by trying it so we'll cue that prompt so here she is the hands are almost gone I had to change a seed to banish them. <laughs> so here we have uh, a mood sort of background Laura and we have an artist Laura. There's nothing to stop you adding another artist in here. So if we add another artist, say Morris, then William Morris will go quite well with Landecker. They're both the same period. So you, you do have the option to augment the... Uh, Laura's uh, with words and and echo uh, what's going on. It's always a good idea to try and knit your prompt, your Laura's and uh, the image you put in to, to try and knit them all together so they're they're all sort of on theme. So if we have a look at what William Morris does and William Morris will react with the land echo. I am thinking maybe not. And there we've had the William Morris and what it has done is quite subtle. You see the patterns here. Slight increase in decorativeness. So it's better to do that and prompt for the decorativeness than it is to add a, another decorative Laura. So if I added if a William Morris Laura, for example, then that would conflict with the Leyendecker. But uh, to prompt William Morris works well with the Leyendecker. I suppose I should say a few words about should I add eight Lauras, ten Lauras? There are things, nodes called Laura stackers, for God's sakes. Um, and the answer is really not more than three. You're pushing it at three, really. Uh, so maybe two and you can never underestimate the power of prompting. So um, I, I would draw the line at at two and putting them in at high levels usually uh, means a reduction in quality we could we, i should demonstrate that perhaps rather than just claiming it uh, so we'll put them both at uh, at one and see what we think you want to try this because uh, you never know they might they might um, play together really nicely and there she is and as you see we have had a big reduction in quality so as with most things less is more and what you want to do is to experiment with the levels of these and it won't be both one because as you see see how much the face has dropped in quality so laura's can be quite destructive as well okay i think that covers laura's if people have um, subjects they want me to make a, a simple video about, I'm happy to do that, uh, provided it's something I know something about. Uh, there's a large amount I don't know much about, so I can't make videos about that. But uh, I can make videos uh, about the basics. So if you're confused by uh, a particular aspect, then uh, I'm happy to clarify if I know, if I don't know, then I can't help, I'm afraid. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Thank you very much.